here tonight, St. Pete's Mayor Rick Christman is getting mixed reaction from voters after tweeting for NBA champion Steph Curry to come to St. Pete in place of the White House. News Channel 8's Jamel Lene joins us live in front of the Vinoy, which is the hotel Mayor Christman told Curry to come check out. Jamel? Yeah, he did. And a lot of voters that live in this area are saying this is probably not the right time because they feel that maybe this tweet could possibly hurt him. Mayor Rick Kreisman is catching flack for this tweet. Over the weekend, he invited NBA champion Steph Curry to come visit the city after President Trump withdrew Curry's invitation to the White House. Kreisman wrote, no White House, but a beautiful pink hotel, plus plenty of sunshine. Some voters are okay with the tweet. It's cool though, bring Curry here. While others think Kreisman should stay out of the national feud. I, I think the two shouldn't be overlap. I think you play, play sports, you play sports, and you do politics, you do politics. Curry is one of dozens of athletes who've expressed their distaste for the president. Political analyst Barry Edwards says Kreisman's tweet could hurt him in November, who is running for re-election against former mayor Rick Baker, a Trump supporter. When you see him talking or tweeting about uh, Seth Curry from the Warriors and you have a pile of debris in your front yard that hasn't been picked up. You say, well, why is he worrying about that? Why? Maybe Mayor Baker is right. He's just he's too focused on other things. Maybe you ought to run for Congress or the U.S. Senate. But Edwards ability, also believes uh, Christman supporters will stay loyal. First of all, this is a tweet. This is exactly what Donald Trump does. Okay. And people that don't like Donald Trump don't like him or like him because they don't like the alternative. So somebody who's supporting Rick Christman have excused the, uh, sewage have excused some of the other problems we've had in the city with the pier or the rays because they just don't like the alternative. But and Mayor Rick Christman did respond. He said that the president's trumps are divisive and dangerous. And he said he's always going to use his platform, which is social media, to share what's so great about St. Pete. And again, so that's what he put out there. As for Curry, we don't know if he has responded to that tweet. Uh, back to you guys in studio. Jamel Lene, live for us in downtown St. Pete. Thank you, Jamel. People